work on my lighting, guys, so I apologize. Hey, guys, beautiful Tangle Mess here with another episode of Live Free, Dine Hard, the Vintage Edition. <laughs> recipe is kind of confusing which is why I figured it was appropriate to wear a Halloween sweater when it's still September. What? I'm filming! <laughs> I'm filming! Come here! Come be in the video! Good kitty! I'm not quite sure which year this is from but it's definitely a confusing vintage recipe. <laughs> Fiesta Peach Spam Bake. Christoph, you just ruined my... Sorry about that. So the reason why it's confusing is because this recipe says it's a summer feast for a wintry day, but then it's a Fiesta Spam Bake. It's a summer recipe to have in the winter time. So this recipe just feels like it's all over the place. I've never, ever, ever in my life, ever, ever, ever have had Spam before, let alone having peaches in it, let alone it being baked, let alone there being cloves in it. So let's get to this recipe, shall we? Mm -mm -mm -mm. The first thing we need to do is preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Be right back. Done. The ingredients that we are going to need for this recipe, as I have mentioned before, are some cans of peaches. I'm supposed to use the syrup that's in it, but since this is modern day, I feel like it's kind of hard to find canned peaches with syrup in it. I didn't go to Kroger. I didn't go to a regular supermarket. I went to Target, okay, because it was the closest. So I got sliced peaches in 100% juice. Hopefully that's all right. A can of mm, spam, which I don't understand why people would want to have spam sandwiches. I don't know what spam tastes like, so I'm not quite sure. And we're gonna need whole cloves. And that's all we need for this recipe, so it's a little bit more simple. The second thing we are going to do is drain the juice from the peaches, but saving the juice for later, because we're gonna need it. Open sesame. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I like peaches, and I like canned peaches for sure. Oh, this can smells weird. Mmm, I don't, mmm. Don't ever buy Market Pantry peaches. It stinks, like they're old. When does this expire? May 5th, 2020, these peaches stink! It's definitely enough peaches for what I need for this recipe. So I'm just draining them with this sippy thing. Uh, 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 uh. Drain and drain and drain and drain and. Oh, we're gonna need brown sugar later. I totally forgot about that. Peaches, done. Next step, we need to take a whole spam. Mmm. You see that? Mmm. I gotta take it out of the can. How do I? There we go, everybody. Spam. Oh, it stinks. Like, ew, and it's like dry. I thought it was gonna be juicier. We need to cut five sections into this spam, but we're not cutting all the way through because we're gonna be putting the sliced peaches in. So I got my knife. And now we are going to make five cuts, but four cuts to make five sections. I gotta make sure these are perfect, you know? Hey, you know? Kristoff's looking at me like, you're crazy. But Okay. Precision, do not cut all the way through. Oven's ready! Spam stinks! Slices? Uh done. One goddamn leviosa! Slits have been made. They are not quite that even. Hopefully, it's good enough. We need to put peaches in between the spam slices and arrange the remaining peaches around the spam. We're breaking all the peaches? Okay. Whatever! I'm just following the recipe. I gotta put this up. Oh, look, I'm wearing my bracelet again. I like it. I like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, they stink. Why do they stink? Ugh! That's a thick slice. I need thinner slices. Ugh! This is a lot harder than I thought. See, that's the thing. They're sliding out. Quit sliding out! Freaking A! Let's cut these in half. Don't cut my fingers. Don't cut. Oh. Okay, that fits better. When I cut them in half, they fit better because they're 
flatter. No. Mm. This is annoying. Aha! That fits so much better. It actually looks like the picture now. Why does it sound like somebody's eating cat food? Kristoff, do you have a friend over? I don't approve that. <laughs> Thick piece. Oop. These are slippery and slimy. Are you sure this was in juice? It just feels like syrup. It doesn't smell good. Like I thought the peaches would at least smell good, but the peaches smell stale. Oh, this is so dangerous. Stale and old. Now the one bites the dust. Dun, dun, dun. Now the one bites the dust. Get back in there. Get in there. Ugh, this is so gross. Come on, baby, come out. It really feels like there's a cat eating food in here. No one buys this. Oh! It's kind of even, but kind of not. So let me just scoop this thong over so it looks even. There! Okay, I'm a little proud of that. So that's done. And now I'm going to rearrange some of the peaches around the spam. <sighs> Everything is freaking me out. My mother just came home and the garage door went off. So we have the peaches lined up nice and pretty on here. It looks good from far away, like it actually looks like ham, but when you get up close, it looks like, it looks and smells kind of weird. So we're done with that. Here is where the syrup comes into play. One fourth cup of the peach juice and mix it with two tablespoons of brown sugar. Mix it together and pour it over like a glaze. And then we're gonna put the little cloves on it. And then we're gonna cook it. Bye. Pardon me. Bye. Pardon me. No one buys this. One fourth. It looks like syrup. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. One. And I'm assuming because it has the brown sugar in it, it's going to create like a crusty, sweet, normal looking glaze. That smells okay. <laughs> Here we go with the glass. Yo, yeah, yummy. So. <coughs> All right, now it's time to stick the cloves in there. Mm, 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 mm. I'm assuming while I'm putting these cloves in there, the glaze is gonna like soak into the spam. Oh, yum! All right, done. Here it is. Yum, yum, yum! We are now gonna put it in the oven for 35 minutes, and then we will be back with a taste test. All right. Okay, here we go. All right guys, so I am back here with my friend DJ. We go to the same school and it's fantastic. And now I get to torture her with a gross vintage food. I'm a little nervous because I've never had Spam before. I have and either. I've never had it. The peaches stunk in the can, so can <laughs> peaches stink. Just letting you know. So are you ready for the big reveal? Yeah, oh God. Ta -da! <laughs> Camera. Oh, I can smell it. Mm. Oh yeah, now you can smell it. How do you think I did, guys? You think I did a good job of <laughs> replicating it? It that smells bad. The peaches I can probably do, but I don't know about that. Mm. <laughs> so it smells like dog food. Oh yeah, it does. It does smell like dog it food. Smells, it smells like a little fancy. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Merry Christmas, and happy <laughs> summer, everybody. Oh, that's great. I'm not gonna eat it. Oh, you don't have to eat it. <laughs> Just, okay, eat it together. We eat it together. What is this? Oh, that's my coffee. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want it. Mmm. This is my uh, bite. Oh god. <laughs> that's my bite. Oh. You're a little bit bolder than I am. Uh. Ooh, that looks weird. It looks like pumpkin. All right. I can't get the peach on. Okay. Maybe you need a bigger piece. I just ready. Live free, die hard, everybody. Salty. Mm. The peach is okay. Let me mm. just the peach, but then that ham spam. Mm -mm. Hold on. I can I can taste the cloves though. The cloves <laughs> infused with the spam. So I'm gonna try peach. The peach is fine. I taste normal. 
Okay, that's good when it's not touching the spam. This, however, oh, I just swallowed it. I didn't think I was gonna swallow it. Oh, nice, congratulations. <laughs> See, it's, what in the heck? Why is it like brown in the middle? Do you see that? First of all, this is salty as all get up. Okay, first of all. Second of all, the sweet and salt, yeah. <laughs> the sweet and salty mixture of this whole entire thing just, I don't know if it's cooked, like it's cooked. You spam don't have is to, cooked. You don't have to cook Spam, oh, like it's God. already cooked, but. <laughs> hey Kristoff, you wanna try some Spam? I do feel like I just ate dog food though. Mmm, it, uh, Kristoff, Kitty. I'm sure you can have Spam. Oh, he's eating it. Oh, it's crystal. Oh, he wants more. He likes it. Okay, I mean, so this is good cat food. Meaty and salty. <laughs> I mean, what, what else could you want if you're a cat? And there are 790 milligrams of sodium in spam. So yeah, that is some salty crap. What is spam? Jiggles. Pork with ham, salt, water, modified potato starch, sugar, and sodium nitrate. <laughs> so it's just like ground up salty ham. <laughs> <laughs> we give it a thumbs down, for sure. But I'm going to leave the link to this recipe in the description below if you guys want to try it yourself. And if you do, please send me a picture on my Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter with the hashtag LiveFreeDineHard. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give me a comment down below for any other recipes that you want me to try. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can get notifications when I post another video. You can also follow me on all my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, got all that stuff. Thank you for being my <laughs> friend in this adventure of spam. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Life Free Down Hard on Beautiful Tangled Mess. As I always remember that life is a beautiful tangled mess and it is our job to make the most out of what we have been dealt with in life and make it the best time of our lives. This book is distracting. You guys are awesome and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys! Bye! Bye bye. <laughs> I'm going to go throw this away now or put it in Kristoff's food dish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye guys.